You can tell I'm off work today. It's windy, it's raining, and it's trying to snow. <sighs> Meh. Good morning guys, how are you all doing? That's correct, I have today off of work. In fact, I have also got Monday off. I had to use up some holidays before the end of the year, so I thought why not have a long weekend. And the other thing about today is, it's Smegchris Day. Yep, happy Smegchris Day everyone. And the reason it's Smegchris Day is because 10 years ago today, I uploaded the very first episode on my main channel. Which is why I've been doing the 10th anniversary videos all week. <laughs> I've uh, done very well with them. I'm just realising how gloomy it is. Anyway, I'm going to sit you guys on the windowsill. There we go. So I started editing the last episode, the one that's going up on Saturday, Wednesday night. And the first thing I did was I put all the files onto my computer. And when there's a lot of files like this one was, what I do is compile a list of the video file numbers and then put in, you know, the description of what that what that scene is. Like for example, when it's Clone 1 or Fuedo or Percy or whatever. So I did all that and I'm going through them one by one and typing it down what the scene is. And when I finish, I'm like, weird, where's the intro? And then I thought, hold on a minute, I deleted some files from earlier on in the week. So they'll have slotted into there and sure enough, I found more files there. So I put them on, went through them and again, no introduction to the video. I'm like, where's that? And then suddenly I realised I had not filmed it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, come on. Because as I was going through the week, what I was doing was the introduction first. And then I'd get on with the rest of the video because they were improvised. Because the last one was half improvised and half scripted, I started doing the scripted stuff first where there were scenes in the day. And then I started doing the scenes at night. And somehow I forgot all about the introduction. <laughs> so Wednesday night I filmed that. And then I finished editing it yesterday after work. I've already started editing the behind the scenes video, my Unleashed. So I'm practically done now. It's been, what, almost two weeks of work and I've enjoyed every minute of it, honestly. It's just been fun doing. <laughs> Although I am now glad that it's almost over. If you're wondering what that noise is, it's him. It's because I'm talking to a camera again. Oh, you remember the other day because he'd been going Mardi and stuff and I gave him his tennis ball. Look at this. He's been playing with it every day. He has already destroyed it. Must be cheap ones. I need to get you... Oh, he's interested now. I need to get you more sturdy ones, don't I? I have been playing with him though while I've been... Like when I'm editing, I do, I do a little clip. And he's got the ball there, so I throw it. Do another clip, throw a ball again. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But yes, today's Smeg Chris Day. I posted it on Twitter, Facebook. I ain't put it on Snapchat yet. Huh. Maybe I ought to. And yes, the weather is terrible, but I'm still going to go to Parkgate. I've been wanting to go there for a few weeks now, but obviously I couldn't because of the lockdown. But now that's lifted, I'm presuming all if not most of the shops are open anyway ugh. i don't think there's anything else to tell you guys no i can't think of anything anyway, i'm gonna go and brave this weather and head to parkgate you know i was kind of hoping that it wasn't going to be busy but um yeah car park's just about full <laughs> oh boy and the weather yeah not good oh well i chose to come here so at least i've uh, Got this nice thick coat on. I can't wear the other one because when I walked Harley earlier, it got soaked and it's still dripping. <laughs> so I've fished this one out. It's lovely and warm. Let's hope it keeps me warm while I'm walking about Parkgate. I'm in a PC world and I'm checking out this vlog camera right here. It's called Sony Vlog ZV1. Look at the screen that flips out here. Yeah. I uh, kind of like it. <laughs> I'm noticing there's no microphone holes on the top. 
I don't know where the microphones are. I'm, I think they might be under there actually. Maybe that there. Because as you know, I've been having problems with this camera. I mean, it's working fine and everything, but like I mentioned before, the microphones on it are not very good anymore. So it could be the uh, next evolution in my vlogging cameras, but not today. And I like when it switched on, this green light comes on. Very nice. Who knows, maybe one day. It seems I've got a problem. I've had to put my earphones in, turn my MP3 player on because they're playing Christmas music. It's halfway through a song and the battery's almost dead. It's like it's been playing itself. Uh, sometimes that happens, you know, it'll catch the lock button and then it'll just start playing. So I'm assuming it's been playing in my rucksack because that's where I normally keep it. So if the battery does die, I'm gonna have to put my phone music on. <laughs> well, I mean, technology. Oh, by the way, I'm now in Asda. I didn't get anything in PC World. I've noticed though, the uh, DVD sections shrunk. Again, typical Asda. Mind you, I've got enough DVDs at the moment. I'm still gonna have a look. I've actually bought some treats, a Christmas tree and an elf. I'm only kidding. A birthday card and a Christmas present. So I didn't come out of the Asda empty handed. And I'm hiding under here because, well, it's very, very wet. I don't want to get the camera wet. Still got a few more shops to have a look around. Hopefully I can find some more presents. And maybe buy myself something. Yeah. I'm in Morrison's and I've bought myself some food and I thought, hold on a minute, where am I going to eat it? <laughs> I don't fancy eating it out in the rain. Oh well, I'll figure it out. As soon as I finished that last clip, I found an empty bench. I was walking out, I thought, right, I'm sitting there to eat my wraps. And uh, I'm already almost at the bottom of Parkgate here. And uh, <laughs> just being in here, Accidentally, honestly, accidentally, bought a few DVDs for myself. I'll show you them later when I get home. I didn't mean to. Okay, maybe I did. I'm currently in Smith's and this isn't good. I keep eyeing up these DC Multiverse figures and they've come down in price. Some of them are £9.99, they're usually £20. The thing is, if I buy one, I'll want a lot. And the thing is, they're all different. Like you've got Arrow from TV show and then you've got a Joker from Arkham Asylum game and an animated Batman. They're all different and I'll just want all of them. <sighs> and if they keep knocking price down, I'll end up buying them. And then all my money will go bye-bye. <laughs> I'm now just noticing there's a more variety of these ones as well. They've got Flash now and Wonder Woman. You know what I need to do, don't you? Walk away from them. Oh, I'm done with shopping now and I found it very difficult to walk away from those toys <laughs> and then suddenly they started playing some more Christmas music in fact the same Christmas music that played in Asda so I had to get my earphones out and then I quickly got out of there <laughs> oh man it's cold it's two degrees according to my car what yeah, I'm gonna make my way home now I was thinking of going into town and getting my comic books but I can do that another day because right now I just want to get home and have a rest I can see you peeking over the sofa <laughs> by the way I've not mentioned he has not limped at all since I brought it up the last time and I started thinking about it afterwards and I remembered before he was even one years old I'd taken him up to the woods and he was doing a limp then and I got worried and I started checking him out and then these two women came around the corner and he just ran straight over to them and I'm like, he's faking it. I keep forgetting he does that. <sighs> anyway, now that I'm home, I'm gonna show you a few of the things I've got. Finally got myself one of these calendars. I've got a few other things, you know, like bleach and shower gel. I don't really need to show them. I'm not showing the Christmas present either. But like I said, I couldn't help myself with some DVDs. Now the thing is, because it was the charity shop, it was two DVDs for a pound. So, I couldn't resist. And the thing is, I'd completely forgotten that there's a second Zoolander. <laughs> I've never seen it. 
so for 50 pence and I was surprised to see this here as well Backdraft 2 this is brand new this only come out like two three four weeks ago I doubt it's any good but whatever so apparently the makers of Backdraft did do it it's got a few of the characters back in it but I didn't stop there I have been after this series for quite some time now because I used to love it when it was on the TV back in the 90s for three pounds drop the dead donkey the first three series that's a pound per series you're going in places like HMV and you, you can't get them that cheap as soon as I saw it I was like I've got to have it I can't resist <laughs> so now I've started another collection <laughs> But that's it, that's all I bought myself. I did go in the works, but there were no books that I... Well, there were books I wanted, but they're part of a series, and they're later on, so I want to get ones before those ones first. Yeah, I believe that made some sense. Anyway, I'm uh, just uh, uploading the latest Smeg Chris episode, called 10th Anniversary Day, because today's Smeg Chris Day, and I've just got the unleashed video to finish editing and then that's all done and dusted wow it's dark it's starting to go very very gloomy oh, and he's already had his walk haven't you mm -hmm. no limping <laughs> eh? no limping mm -hmm. oh camera's in his face again he doesn't like it doesn't like the camera <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm gonna sign off now. So I'm, that means I'm putting the camera away, okay? <laughs> Not really gonna do much else for the rest of the day apart from, like I said, edit that video. And you know, watch TV. Whoa, I'm off work today. And it's Smeg Chris Day. Hmm, maybe I should have some beers tonight to celebrate it. Anyway, guys, I'm going. All that's left for me to say now is thank you for watching and subscribing if you have, and liking this video if you did. Until the next time. Peace out. By the way, this never ran out of juice, thankfully. Because they kept playing the same Christmas music in every shop. I'm sure they know that I don't like Christmas and they're doing it on purpose.